get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Got some new songs to sing today. Got something brand new to listen to and a couple of fun music activities. So, you know what? Let's stop talking about it and let's get making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, second grade, we're going back in time. A long time ago, I'm talking about the old Wild West. You guys know anything about the Wild West, right? You think about cowboys, think about a sheriff, think about a bandit, think about horses, maybe. And I'm thinking about something that horses actually pull. I'm thinking about a covered wagon. Maybe you've seen one of these before. Big wagon has a sort of a sheet that goes around it to keep everything in it nice and safe when you're transporting it across the country. That's what people used to do. Well, I have a song about a wagon, the old brass wagon. Let me sing it for you. It's a pretty catchy one. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. That was a lot more to the song. We'll learn that in a little bit. But first question for you, how many times do I take a breath? How many phrases are in the song? Listen closely. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. How many times take a breath? How many phrases were there? There were four. Nice job. I'll sing this time. You echo back. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. A little bit longer this time, listen closely. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Sing the whole song with me, guys. Ready? Here we go. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Now, there's something really interesting I noticed about this. The first three phrases all have the same words, and the fourth one has different words. But listen to the first three phrases. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left, old brass... Hold on a second. Every time we sing circle to the left, the notes change. Listen. Circle to the left. Second time. Circle to the left. Hmm. Third time. Circle to the left. Circle to the left, circle to the left, circle to the left. Hmm, 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 Low, middle, high. One, two, three. Tri-chord, right? Do, re, mi. Yes, exactly right. Follows that tri-chord that we were learning about. Good. Sing the whole song with me. Circle to the left, old brass wagon. Circle to the left. Wagon, circle to the left, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. I'm gonna change one word. So you can sing along with me. Circle to the right, old brass wagon. Circle to the right, old brass wagon. Circle to the right, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Change it again. See if you can figure it out. Everybody in, old brass wagon. Everybody out, old brass wagon. Everybody in, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Swing your partner, old brass wagon. Swing your partner, old brass wagon. Swing your partner, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Clap your hands, old brass wagon. Clap your hands, old brass wagon. Clap your hands, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Point your toes, old brass wagon. Point your toes, old brass wagon. Point your toes, old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. You can 
can actually come up with your own words, but there's something funny you can do with this song. If you listen, all these are kind of instructions. Circle to the left or circle to the right or everybody in or everybody out or swing your partner or clap your hands or touch your toes, tap your toes. This is actually a game. You need a group of people. Make a circle. You and at least two other people, at least three other people would be great. Okay, four, actually four people is perfect for the song. If you, have a, if you have a family with four people in it. Circle to the left, well, you all work on the left. Circle to the right, hey, you all work on the right. Everybody in, whoop, you make a smaller circle. Everybody out, whoop, you make a bigger circle. Swing your partner, turn to someone in, whoosh, swing around. Clap your hands. Tap your toes. Lots of different things you can do. You can actually come up with your own words for this. So if you know the song really, really well, then you can start coming up with your own things and some of your own motions with people. So have some fun with your family making music with this song and also making music with your Falcon friends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Alrighty, second grade, you ready to head back outside to the pawpaw patch. Tell them about those pawpaws last week, not talking about a grandpa. No, we're talking about a pawpaw. It's that fruit, that really big fruit that grows in that really big tree. Right here in North America, actually. We had a song that went like this. Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. Good. Let's keep that beat while we sing it this time. Here we go. Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. Good. This time, can we sing it? But let's imagine we got those fruit flies flying around. We're trying to get them away from our head. Here we go. Clap those rhythms. Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the pop pop patch. Oof, my hands are tired. Okay, got my picture here. My little paw paw trees. And there are the paw paws growing up. It's uh, not really an accurate picture, but just bear with me. Here we go. Let's point to our trees this time. Ready? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. Good. This time, let's point to the pawpaws. A lot more to point to. Get your fingers ready. Here we go. Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. Cool. Nice job. Now, got a couple questions for you. We're moving to this song, we're moving around, but I have some questions to really listen. See who's got the best listening ears. See who can answer my questions. First question for you is this. In this song, in the very first phrase, how many beats do I keep? Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. Can you keep a beat in your lap? I'll keep one on my lap too. Here we go. Lou, 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 Lou. How many beats did you keep on your lap? Lou, 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 Lou. Four beats. Nice job. Now, listen very carefully. Because there is one beat that has more sounds on it than the other ones. There's one beat that has the most sounds on it. Which beat has the most sounds? Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Do you know which beat it was? Was it the first, second, third, or fourth? Listen one more time. Lou, 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 Lou. Which beat had the most sounds? It was the third beat. Yes, the third beat has got the most sounds. Definitely, by far. Hmm. How many sounds are on the third beat? See if you can count. Do a little bit slower. Lou, 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 Lou. How many sounds is that? Four sounds, exactly right. Four sounds on one beat. Wow, that's a lot of sounds. You've never had that many sounds on a beat before, but you're hearing it right there. There's a beat that's got four sounds in it. Hmm. Well, okay. Every other beat doesn't have four sounds. How many sounds are on every other beat? Lou, 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 Lou. Well, every other beat only has two sounds, right? Well, we know what we call two sounds. Two sounds of beat is toddy. But four sounds, we all know that one. It's a brand new sound. It's a brand new rhythm. For right now, 
because there's four short sounds all in one beat, well, let's just call them short. This is what it's going to sound like. Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. Ooh, it's a mouthful. Listen again. Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. Can you sing along with me? Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. Hmm. This time, see so we can clap it too. Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. This time, don't sing. Think, but still clap the rhythms. Here we go. Tricky. That's a brand new rhythm, guys. It's a new rhythm where there's four short sounds all on one beat. That's a lot of sounds to have on one beat, but we heard it. Next week, we're going to make a picture of what these sounds look like. But coming up next, we have something fun to listen to. So get your ears ready for a little bit more listening. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, second grade, got a really, really important composer to listen to today. He is one of our oldest composers. He was born a long, long, long time ago. His name was Johann Sebastian Bach. Can you guys say Bach? Bach. Bach lived before Mozart. He lived before Beethoven. He lived before Haydn. He came before all of them. He's one of the very first real composers that we talk about. And I think you're going to understand why, because we're going to listen to a piece of music that he wrote that is incredible. You've got to have very nimble fingers to play this piece of music that was written by Bach. I'm going to tell you the title of it. He wrote many, 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 many pieces of music for maybe his favorite type of instrument, a keyboard instrument. Now, not like a computer keyboard. I'm talking like a piano. But back when Bach was alive, there really weren't pianos. There were organs. Maybe you've seen an organ, really big ones with the pipes. There's also something called a harpsichord. And a harpsichord is very similar to a piano. It's almost like the grandfather of the piano. It came before the piano, just like Bach came before all of our other composers. Well, our piece of music today by Bach is called Prelude in C Minor. That doesn't sound like any special title, but when you listen to it, you're going to know it's very special music because it just, it's incredible how fast his fingers are moving, how fast this performer is playing this music by Bach. So click on the link below and enjoy Prelude in C Minor by Bach. All right, second grade, you're going to need something to write on, something to write with, and you're also going to need a staff. Get a ruler if you need it. It'd be fun to write these out. Okay, so think of a song about something that might start blooming in the next oh, couple months, but a flower, a song we learned many months ago, a song called All Around the Buttercup, and it goes like this. All around the buttercup, one, two, three. If you want a nice young friend, just choose me. Simple song. Sing it with me this time. All around the buttercup, one, two, three. If you want a nice young friend, just choose me. Great. Okay. You know, there's actually two parts of this song that sound very, very interesting to me. And here's the first one. One, two, three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Low, middle, high. It's a tri-chord, right? It's three sounds in a row. Do, re, mi. Hmm. Can we write that out? I bet we can. Let's make a little reminder first. Do, re, mi. Hmm. Where does do go? It's on its own line, right? Yep. Okay. Um, where does Ray go? It's one step higher, so it's underneath the first line, right? Um, now careful with me, not careful with me, careful with, care with me, solfeggine. What type of note is it? Do, re, mi. It's longer. It sounds like it lasts for two beats. What type of, do, re, mi. 
It's a half note. Remember half notes? Oh, our dear friends. Yes, half notes. What's the rule? You don't color them in, right? It goes in the first line. It's me, so I'm going to draw a circle and a stem. And then if we want to get fancy, you can put our time signature, yes, and then two beats, bar line, two beats. That actually lasts for two beats. We'll put a bar line at the end. All around the buttercup, do, re, mi. Cool. Okay. There's actually one more part we can write out, too. If you want to erase that or you want to make a new staff, it can be hard with the staff sometimes. We'll just do one more. It's the last part of the song. Just choose me. Just choose me. Lou, Lou, Lou. Sounds like a trichord. Mm, mm, mm. Me, re, do. Exactly. Simple. Oh, there is one tiny little thing with it, though. Me, re, do. Okay, so the first note now is me. Where does me go? First line. You got it. You can copy along with me. Pause it if you have to. Re, underneath the first line. Um, do. Type a note. Me, re, do. Another half note. Ay, ay, ay. This song's littered with half notes. Do is a half note. It's a little tricky. Look at that. Oh, we can't forget our stem, too. You don't color it in, but the stem goes right there, and the line goes right through the middle of it. And we put our bar line just like that. Mi, re, do. Good. Let's try something. I'm going to sing the song. I want you to sing the parts on solfege names. So listen. All around the buttercup, do, re, mi. If you want a nice young friend, mi, re, do. Sort of alternate. That's kind of cool. This time, you sing your part, I'll sing my part. Here we go. All around the buttercup. If you want a nice young friend. Good. Now, here's one more little thing you could do with this. If you have your boom whackers, you have your me, Ray, and Doe, your tricord boom whackers, you can actually try something with this. You can sing, but when you get to those parts, you can actually play them. All around the buttercup, do re, me. If you want a nice young friend, me, Ray, do. And then you can have someone else help you out. So, have some fun singing that song, have some fun making some music, and most importantly, well, just have some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Alrighty, guys, next week we're going to be doing a brand new instrument. And what you're going to need next week is very, very simple. You're going to need three empty bottles. Three empty bottles. Now, make sure they're all the same type of bottle, whether they're water bottles or whether they're soda bottles or whether they're, well, soda bottles is probably good and water bottles are good too. But actually, I'm going to be honest with you, the soda bottles work really, really, really well for this. So, if you're able to collect three empty soda bottles next week, we're going to use them to make a brand new instrument and experiment a little bit with some sound. So gather those bottles because next week we're going to have some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So until next time. Over.